Hey guys, what's up? Here once again to do a stream. This time of the game Pillars of Eternity. Originally, I believe, a game for PC. It was ported thanks to a Kickstarter to the PS4. The one I own is the complete edition. Let's wait for more people to get in, to join. Hey guys, what's up? Well, the music is too loud, I believe. Let's see if we can try to change that. I, I finally managed to attend my own live stream with my own account. Previously, I have, I have had to use another account. But now I'm here. Let's put it to 75. All right. So the first time I got this game was uh, around three months ago when my sister came from the UK. She bought a couple of games. Well, <laughs> more like 20 something games that I presented on my game pickups video number three this game was among them and I played them I played this game and I played it for like an hour and a half there's a long tutorial you can create your own character so I might just continue from where I left off but I'm just going to show you for a bit uh, what the character creation looks like this game is a request from Rem Reanimated. She recently donated five dollars. Thank you very much, Rem. This is her request. Don't forget, you also can make requests if you become my patrons or my supporters in some way. So let me just show you the character uh, easy mode, easy guys. Let me just show you the character creation part. Then I'll return to the main menu and continue from where I left off. Because the tutorial is kind of annoying. Well, it's not long, it's just a little tedious, but it's okay. So thank you guys for joining today. Here, as you can see, are the controls. Five wagons grope blindly for the path on a starless night. Their map. Here, you can create male or female. First is the sex. Then it's the race. This human, a Maua. I don't know what that is. The races of the game: dwarf, elf. Those are also classic. Orlon godlike. You can be a godlike. 
be this strange creature that looks like Behemoth or Baphomet I mean, I mean. yeah so human here's the class and the explanation right over there the attributes up there culture appearance so as you can see uh, the character creation offers a lot of variety a lot of customization I'm not gonna go into that again because it really takes a while like 10 minutes and I already did that hell I don't even remember what I chose I think I chose a rogue but anyway that's the character creation pretty customizable I'll say that's it so now I'm gonna go back to the main menu and start from where I left off last time so is the music okay is the sound of this stream okay guys let me know Okay, so Ram says, I've not tried Pillars of Tyranny or Tyranny, but they are my two play eventually list. So I guess my pick is Planscape Torment. You know, everybody keeps recommending that game to me. It's a piece of game, isn't it? I play the one the port on the PS4. I'm not sure if it's a remake or anything like that. I don't I didn't like that game. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was just not my kind of game. A lot of dialogue and which is cool but in really small letters there was a lot of reading to do and my eye, my eyes got tired so here it is uh, for those who don't know the the game plays a little bit like Dragon Age in an isometric view Diablo style real-time strategy so let's just say this is Diablo meets Dragon Age last time I kicked this animal's ass or I don't remember so I am a rogue pretty cool avatar down there the bottom left and this blonde chick with two axes with, with an axe so as you can hear there's almost no music here at least not in this part of the game something else you need Looks like we're settled for the night. I'm a trader, originally from the Adir Empire, but I've been trying to establish new business out here. Life on the road has brought some unexpected challenges, to be sure. And I'm sure you've noticed how prickly the locals can be. But we're here to make the most of things, right? Baldur's Gate? I've only played um, Dark Alliance on the original Xbox and PS2. It was okay. It wasn't great. It was an okay game. What I like about this one is that there's always a lot of options to choose from. And the game warns you that every single option, every single choice you make, however irrelevant it may, it may seem, it actually affects the story as you can see there are parentheses here at the end of each choice it's a passionate uh, response clever response and a cruel response it is the successor of Baldur's Gate oh nice to know that but like I said this game is not an action RPG it's more like a real-time strategy Here's the camp. I'm supposed to talk to some dude over here. Still waiting on Sparfell, which means he's ignored me again. If I'd known he wanted to slow us down, I'd have just tied him to the back of the wagon and dragged him. There's just a lot to read and a lot to choose and 
A lot of things involved in this game. I'm sorry. You want your water, you better go find him. He's got all the skins. Shit. Come on, let's go look for him. You can pause the game with the square button. <laughs> yeah, last time I played this game was like three months ago. Oh, we can hear music then. So I'm supposed to find this guy who has the water. can switch characters with R1 and L1 here's the map the world map Trying to get used to the controls again. Come on, girl, move! Move your ass! What the hell did I do now? <laughs> she isn't following me anymore. What button did I click or whatever? Always save options without asking. You have to select both. I don't know how to do that. Um, Quietly now. She's. I've tried everything, and I can't reselect my two characters. <laughs> These things always happen to me during live streams. <laughs> Have fun, guys. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I see your comments, Lord Charles. Everything's fine over here. Maybe it's your connection. Uh, refresh. Yeah, I tried Planescape Torment, Tides of Numenera. Tides of Numenera, I, I, that, that's the one I tried, I believe. Yeah, Tides of Numenera. I tried it with Oscar at his house, and he was just not good. We didn't like it one bit. Pretty original game, by the way, but boring and very, very slow. Let's just look at the controls. Okay, hold, select characters.
Uh, yep, there it is. He's probably hunting. Check by the stream. The stream, all right. So do you guys like Diablo? Is there a button to run? They're kind of low. Um, nope. No, it isn't. Hey, Inashi, welcome. The stream, huh? Here's the stream. You know, in, in just like some areas of Dragon Age, there's just no music. I don't know why that is. Were they trying to create some sort of atmosphere? What a surprise. Sparful went hunting. At least he left the water skins. Come on. You crouch at the riverbank and dip your water skin into the cool water while Kaliska waits nearby, keeping watch. As you rise, you notice her look up sharply towards the tree line. And sometimes the game is told like graphic novels. Kind of like that. The only thing I don't like is that the fonts or the letters are too small. But you know, this idea of mixing books, you know, reading as if you were reading a book or a novel, it's kind of cool. Diablo, okay. Sparful, are you all right? Fighting time. Ambush. Kaliska's barely doing any damage. Come on, we have to get back to camp. Oh, Ram, you sent me that game, Tides of Numenara. That's all right. It seems like a really highly collectible game. It's also an indie game, I believe, <clears throat> supported by Kickstarter. I like collecting those, so don't worry. Might give it a chance one day again. Pressing or holding L2 opens the general radio menu. It, act it gives you access to inventory. Okay. I kind of knew that already. Inventory is navigating using both the left stick and the right stick. Use L to navigate the grid and to quickly navigate the menu sections. Potion of Minor and Endurance. So... Oh no, no, I don't want to equip it. Wanted to heal myself, but okay. Gotta get used to this game. You know, because... 
I kind of want these to play like Dragon Age since they're similar but they're not at the same time so Let's see if Kaliska can equip something different because she's barely doing any damage. She attack with the bow. Or not. Anyway. They're all dead! Damn, the plot thickens. What is this lower one requirement not met? Interesting. We have not trespassed, we merely wish to pass through. I have kind of tempted to do this, but I get the feeling I'm gonna get slaughtered. You will try to kill us all either way. Why make it easy? That seems like the most rational choice. Might 14. The gods demand their penance. Yeah, he was going to kill him anyway. Somehow she's doing more damage now. I might have a chance. Come on. There. Forgive us? <laughs> Who the hell will forgive you? A queer smile crosses his face. I haven't played uh, that famous Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I really want to play that game. It's on the PS2, right?
he looks directly at you. Get inside! Run! Whoa! Kotor is an Xbox game? I don't have Xbox or PC. Yeah, Rem sent me original uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 and Ryan sent me the first one. Let's see which one I get first. should be dead. We can't stay here. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way anyway. Let's get further inside. We have to be careful in here. Place has been open to the wilds for a couple thousand years. Might be a lot of vermin taking shelter here. Four-legged if we're lucky, two if not. We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. Oh, hey guys, welcome. Let's get going. Trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear. A soul reap. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Go die. There it is. Ok, 
Okay, so my inventory is full, I guess. Let's just give something to Kaliska. Don't kill it, Eddie, Eric. Oh, come on. Can you read what you choose? You speak to us a little. Yeah, I'm actually paying a lot of attention and reading what I what I choose. Got a beer here. What the hell? Why will my characters be carrying a beer? This menu is very confusing. Can't get used to it. <laughs> Thanks to me and my Patreon. You mean Tom? He's a hardcore fan of Bloodborne. Wait, do you hear that? Let's see if I can I can equip. DR6, DR6, they're all the same. DR5, Wolf Hide. Died. Will the beer recover my HP? I'm curious about that. What does it do? No, 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 wait. I drank it. I guess I'm drunk now. Use the hammer and chisel the to weaken the wall. Yeah, who the hell pushes the wall? Yes. You know, I'm stronger because I'm drunk. Oh, I lost the hammer and chisel. What do you guys think of the battle system in this game? Okay. Stay quiet. Let's try to stealth mode. And you know what? I'd, r I'd rather fight. Makes the game more interesting. I'm liking this game.
And it also seems that depending on the character you choose at the beginning on the customization, you get a different story or different outcomes and choices, right? I don't know what to do there, so let's go somewhere else for now. Maybe I'm used to the really simplistic mechanics of JRPGs. A rapier. What's this? A bloodstone. Let's see if the rapier does more damage or something. Ten to fifteen slash damage, accuracy versus deflection. Looks like the rapier is the same, right? Yeah, ten to fifteen and thirty-five. And it's one-handed. You know, in Dragon Age, I use an archer all the time. I use an archer in both games, Inquisition and Origins. Are you sure you want to proceed? I am sure. So far so good, guys. So what do you think, Graham? Are you gonna buy this game or keep it if you already have it and play it? Does it convince you? I think it's good. I still prefer Dragon Age, but this is good. Good, I'm well hidden. I really feel like I'm reading a book. Don't take me wrong, that's cool, but I would rather read a book. Oathbinder, bear witness. And see, this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. Looks like some kind of ritual. Hey Steve, what's up? Well, some people were saying it's not similar at all to Baldur's Gate or Dark Alliance. Some people did say that. I mean, I played Dark Alliance on the PS2 and this is very different, even though both are a little bit isometric. Lots of text, dialogue and options and a traditional WRPG, computer RPG battle system. Yeah, it looks very classic. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forth, and be assured of the great worth of your life's course. So is this game open world? Or does it follow a linear story or what? What's up, guys? Hmm. 
For an instant the apparatus goes quiet and the air is still. I like the literature. The synonyms, the adjectives they use, the description, narration. I love it. I wish I could write as well as this. One question. Stella, that's the name of my character. So much reading, yes, a lot. Sort of like a visual novel, huh? I have much to learn from this game. Re reading this game might help me improve my writing. Yeah, reading is fun when you're up for it. I mean, if you if you um, play the game with that mindset, I think you might enjoy it. No breath escapes her lips. Well, she's dead? Yes, I want to level up. This is my character, guys. This red hair, rogue warrior like. Athletics, lore, mechanics, survival. Well, one point each. Um, next. Now to choose the talent. Yeah, there's a lot of reading involved. A lot of things to do, a lot of things to learn. I mean, a lot. A lot of strategy involved. Yes, yeah, tech mechanic and survival. Yep. That's about it. So there's so survival in this game, like survival in the wilderness or something like that. Looks like I'm done. No! She's really dead, isn't she? Oh, just when I was starting to like her. It's not that I don't want. Fatigue and trade attitude tutorials. I'm fatigued? Why? Because I'm carrying too much stuff or... Man, this game is so weird.
What a weird game, man. It will take six hours to complete your journey from Ceylon. No, not yet. Not done exploring here. Yeah, I don't think this game is a good idea for a stream. You really need to pay a lot of attention. You know, since every decision counts and everything they tell you it's important, it's not a good idea to be distracted. Man, she's really dead, isn't she? Well, that sucks. Not a sound. What, what am I stuck here? Oh, Jesus. No, 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 don't worry, Rema. I didn't think about that either. <laughs> it's okay. But it's okay, I'm having fun. Even though I don't know how to exit this battle pose mode. <sighs> Come on. There. Okay, vessel flesh added to the stash. Woohoo, I got my vessel flesh. So I guess that's it. Go to the machine statue. You mean this? This big thing? The air around it vibrates with unusual energy. Don't tell me this game is one of those where the fuck do I go kind of game. Touch glowing machine. That how do I touch it? That's exactly what I'm doing. Jesus. Do I need to approach it from somewhere in particular or The hell? <laughs> yeah, this might be a not so good port. I have no clue how to touch this thing. The hell, man? <laughs> oh god, this game.
interact with the X button, right? Select character, zoom in, toggle slow mode, zoom out. Yeah, so I suppose I need to go away. Got a pilgrim's crown now. Man, this sucks. I'm getting the hell out of here. Six hours, yeah. Whatever. Man, what a weird game. I mean, weird in a good sense. Perhaps rest is in order? It's not that I don't want to carry more. I can't believe Kaliska's death. My only party member, my only companion, is dead. Hey, where are you going? How is it? I have no way to go, man. South, north, east, west. Some of you are clear of these woods, the better, I think. Keep your nose in your own business before it gets looped off. <laughs> I am so tempted to to choose that just to see what happens uh, I guess let's tell him about the figures that kill Kaliska Where did you find this bear? I want to see the bear. Who are you, man? Ah! Uh. God 
Team, it's very hard to choose. Eight hours, yeah. I really need some patience for this game. It can be fun being an asshole in games. <laughs> it's fun in the Grow Lancer games. Or in the Devil Survivor games. If you start being an asshole, it's really fun. I mean, you don't want to be an asshole in those games, actually, but it's fun just to see how the other characters respond to you being a total jerk. <laughs> Whoa! This is hardcore, man. You must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. The buzzing of flies from the trees. Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric the Seventh has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. Have you ever conceived a hollowborn child? No, I've never conceived a hollowborn child. I don't think so. Are you absolutely certain? Lord Raderick has made it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. Okay. I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans, and those who would hide a curse in our midst. His lordship's wife is with child and due any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue our interview then, after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn, just southwest of here. I've been feeling strange ever since a close call with the Vaiwak. What's a Vaiwak? Ah, but here I am. I survived. Although my friend, she did not. Whatever your problem, it sounds like a matter for an animancer. However, the only animancer in Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to speak. Consider yourself fortunate. After she failed Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. Devil Survivor 1 on DS is hard as fuck if you aren't prepared. Yeah, man, that's one of the hardest JRPGs I've ever played. The one on the Nintendo DS, the original one. There was a remake, or more like a port to the 3DS. It's far easier, friendlier. Two of the worst of WRPG mechanics get drinking alcohol or getting drunk. For no reason. <laughs> but if you're set on finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead Audra pebble to rub on your forehead, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little corpse stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. My advice, however, is to be satisfied that you escaped and leave it at that. Children born without souls. This game's pretty dark. I like that. With Wind's legacy stuck in honor of that foul, blasphemous pretender.
Yeah, Just goodbye, man. So how many party members can you have in this game? I mean, active party members. Listen. Two tolls. Let that be the last. Three. Gods have mercy. It seems your arrival is ill-timed. Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. I fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You should tread carefully. Circumstances have changed a great deal. Okay. Were you looking for someone in that tree? Uh, I could introduce you. <laughs> I'm looking for someone who can help me feel better. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, man. <laughs> man, this game is so weird. I don't know why I like it. No offense. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? My treat. The voice acting is pretty decent in this game, right? What do you guys think? Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. They could make a little more effort with the accents. Mm, just wait and see. Coxfeather. I learn insults thanks to video games nowadays. You coxfeather. I'll cut that barrel licking tongue out of your head. Cut that barrel licking tongue out of your head. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarreled. That's where you're wrong. No one gives us orders. Oh, now they're all against me? Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that awkward situation. If you do not help him, you lost second companion, uh, first companion. This guy's my companion, Aloth, Aloth. Cool. I'm glad I could help. A fellow countrywoman? His boots are cake with the dirt of many months' travels. Yeah, come on, man! Like Join my party! An order after that little fiasco. Aloth Corvuser, at your service. Tell me about I'm yourself. By training, and 
an adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seathwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire, and both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so I decided to seek new means in a new land. And how exactly did you come to be here? In Gwythan Ruins? Oh, those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. And half the locals would arrest you for trespassing, and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious, what exactly did you find there? Several hooded figures operating a strange machine. <laughs> yeah, I would laugh if somebody told me that. You do manage to find yourself in rather interesting predicaments. <laughs> An excellent question. I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. Instead, the magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story about the local lord's expectant wife. But I take it that's a familiar tale. Indeed. The local lord has searched far and wide for similar specialists. He has rid himself of them almost as desperately. I'm afraid that was a matter of misunderstandings and mistranslations. It doesn't help that people in these parts remember their war with Adir like it was yesterday. You did tell that one man to go fuck his sister? Are you kidding me? It's up with video games nowadays. The F bombs everywhere. Let's see what happens if I choose that. I heard the same thing. Begging your pardon, but neither do you. Yet, circumstances can find a person in the strangest of places. Hey, Jasper. Yeah, I also approve of lack of censorship. I don't like when the games are censored. As should I, given recent events. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Perhaps I could join you. I could use a change of scenery and I find it's better to travel in numbers. Yes. Excellent. I shall follow you. Woohoo! New party member. Hey, can this guy revive? Uh, what was her name? How shameless of me. I don't remember her name. Kaliska? Yeah, Kaliska. No, not yet. Let's go back to the tree with the dead bodies. Fucking Nintendo. <laughs> No, no, no. Reach out for the soul. Oh, thank you, Mr. Valgar. Thanks for joining. See you next time. Hey, Mountain. No, it's not time and eternity. Yeah, I like Nintendo as well. It's just they change their minds rather 
easily. One day complaining about violent games, the next year putting a lot of violent games in their consoles. That's Nintendo for you. Whatever your problem, it oh, sounds shit. like a for an animancer. However, the only animancer in Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to speak. Consider yourself fortunate. After she failed Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. But if you're set on finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead Audra pebble to rub on your forehead, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little corpse stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. My advice, however, is to be satisfied that you escaped and leave it at that. Hey Eric, how do you play so many games? I actually did a video about that called Where do you find the time to play all these RPGs? That was like a couple of weeks ago, right guys? You might want to check that video. Tell me about Lord Raedric. Yeah, my, my channel and my writing are my almost full-time job. I'm still reselling some stuff. The Saints War? You know what? I'm gonna stream Shining Resonance. Maybe next week. So you guys can see for yourself if it's, if it's something you want to play or not. Yeah, goodbye. Let's go to the inn. This tree is amazing. I wish we could get a new Shining Force game. Or at least something of a strategy RPG from the Shining franchise. Man, controls are sometimes a little unresponsive here. I like Shining Resonance demo. Until they started pulling out musical instruments. <laughs> <laughs> I felt the same way, man. Welcome. A room for the both of us? Do you know of anyone looking for work? So this is where I can fetch the quests? Maybe later. Like to hire some help. Yeah, more party members, man, come on! This guy and I need 250 coins. I only have 164, come on. Retrain character? Oh, I can have six party members? That's nice. That's sweeter than level. You know, Shining Restaurant is pretty rare in Mexico. I only saw that game when it first came out in retail stores, and then a couple of months later, it vanished. You can't find that game anywhere. Well met, friend. You only sell, serve porridge? Where is Sweeker and Six? Yeah, that's exactly what I want to know, too. Um, K. 
Can I sell camping supplies? Split. No, 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 I want to sell stuff. Come on. Um, this. Sell. Just want to recruit the other character. <laughs> Hundred and twenty-five. Oh, I thought my money was that one hundred and sixty-four on the um, upper right of the screen. It's down there below trade. No, 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 not the book. Zero. Just want to recruit the other guy. There, I've got my. I've got enough to recruit Greetings. the guy. Woohoo! Yeah, I might get Shining Restaurants too if the price goes for like 20 bucks or less. It just looks like one of those fan service games with nothing original, you know. Like to hire some help. Give me my level 1 adventurer. I can customize the guy. Ooh, we need another female in the party. How about um, a Mawa? Another elf? I, I already have an elf. What's an Orlan? A creature. Or another, another human? Can't resist the elves here. Pale elf. Class, uh, this fighter. Endurance and health. I need more of that. Culture. Yes. Yeah, sinister. Enter name. Um, I'm going to choose something generic. Tier. Do you want to finish character creation? Yes, I do. Yeah, I have three party members. Woohoo! It's a pretty good game, guys. Though I wish the linear story was more, um, let's say, understandable.
Yeah, Shining series, it's huge. I did a video on them. What the hell happened to Shining Force? I covered the entire franchise for the most part. Hey, Rem, are you, are you still here with us? Rem? You still watching this? Guys, don't forget this is a request from Rem and you can do your own requests. Two requests per month if you become my patron. Go to patreon.com slash Eric Landon for more info. You can see the post. <laughs> okay. So every time I reach for one soul, I have to read like an entire page. Mountain says I may have to force you to play a certain game again. You can't. I can't stream on the PS3, man. Ha ha ha. Only PS4 games now, or digital games on the PS4, or compilations. I have this friend who has the Sega Genesis compilation. I might stream something from Genesis in the near future. Pet the dog. Oh, I can recruit the dog, like in Dragon Age Origins. Oh, hey, Rem. Glad to know you're still here. Sorry about your son. Yeah, this game looks like it has a lot to offer to the player, which is cool. I'm glad they ported this to the PS4, thanks to the Kickstarter. That was cool. I wish more Steam games, Steam only games, or PC only games like Vampire the Masquerade could get ported to the PS4. That will be fucking amazing, man. Isn't Shining Restaurants on the Sega Mega Collection? No. No, only Sega Genesis games. It's um Sega Genesis Ultimate Collection or something like that. Sonic's whatever collection. It has the Fantasy Star games, the Shining Force games, but not Shining Resonance. Oh, I was supposed to go to the uh, to the inn again and sleep there, right? To continue on with the story, I believe. Oh, I didn't. I never loot these guys. You know, this may sound um, dumb. But have any of you played Marble Marble Ultimate Alliance? That's the name, right? I don't know why the setup in this game reminds me of that. Marvel Ultimate Alliance came out for anything. PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox, even Game Boy Advance. I, I liked Marvel Ultimate Alliance, you know. It was it was okay. How do you do? Yeah, like a room, please. Uh, what's the story with the dog upstairs? Poor old girl. Yeah, well, I'd like the room, please. Um, 
Ooh, I level up my perception and mechanics. My resolve. Okay, let's go with this. Maybe I can hire another party member. Yeah, let's rest here. Hey Eric, will you do more streams on Sundays? Unfortunately, no, at least not for this Sunday. I will try to stream this Saturday. Saturday seems like a good day for me. But Sunday is a no good, man. I don't think I'll be able to stream this Sunday. Watcher. Nice drawing. Looks pretty disturbing. Yeah, I gain experience for dreaming. Haha, <laughs> kick fucking ass! What an awesome game, you gain experience by dreaming. And that's it. Let's just save the game, I haven't saved in a while. I mean, it auto saves, of course. Hit this, I want to get out of here. What the hell did I do now? What's man, these games' controls are messed up really bad. Come on. Or I can't get out because it's night or something. Hail, traveler. I'd like to get the hell out of here. Let's go all the way up and exit the other games. I don't enjoy games that have the type of View hands why I can't stay Diablo 3, says Normatic. Yeah, you know what? I'm not a big fan of Diablo either. I, however, I played the first one. I mean, the, the third one on the Xbox One at my friend's house. It was okay. But I don't know, the difficulty in, this, in those games always get to me. I suck at Diablo. Yeah, everybody keeps recommending that Digimon game, Cyber's Loot or whatever. I'm not a fan of Digimon at all. Will I will I still enjoy that game, guys? Do you do you still recommend it for a guy who does not like Digimon one bit? I can't get out. Look at this. Oh, I need to point to the circle until the arrows appear. It's not that I can't stand Digimon, it's just that I don't care for it, you know? I mean, I don't mind playing some Digimon just for fun. 
but I don't know, I've heard some really good stuff about Cyber Sleuth Dimension or something. Yeah, Tales of Berseria, that's a really awesome game. I think I'm going the wrong way. Hell, I don't even know, or rather, I don't even remember where am I supposed to go. No, 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 no more raining. No, 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 I don't care. There's just a lot to do in this game, isn't it? I'm pretty sure once I get the gist of it, I'll have more fun. Not that I'm not having any, mind you. It's a pretty good game. Let's go to Mar Magrant's Fork. Yeah, four hours. Eric, if you'd like to send me a friend request on PS4, I'm Sal Mountain. I don't even know how to do that here. Well, I'll see if I can get... Uh, I can play some sort of demo on that Digimon game. Just see for myself if I like it. It's pretty cheap nowadays. I saw it yesterday for $25 on the PS4 version. What's the point of having friends on the PS4? I mean, can you even interact with them? Because I'm sure that uh, to play online you need to have this PS Plus shit, right? That didn't happen in the PlayStation 3. Why can't I play online without having to pay a PS Plus account? What? He won't hit kill my... My adventurer! Join arms! This guy's tough! Party... Pair encounter, parade, press, and the tutorial. Yeah, yeah, pause. I'm dead. It's all yours. All yours. Come on. You can do it. So, how do I, um,. Revive
Use beer to revive teammates. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, okay, a beer. And how do I do that? That slot can't be changed in combat. <laughs> you moron, you're just trolling. Well, I'm dead anyway. Let's see who wins. Come on, place your bets. Yeah! I'm glad I hired that adventurer. And she's awesome. Made the right call there. Anyway, guys, I think this is it for today. I don't even know where, what I'm supposed to do or where am I supposed to go. And this looks like a game where I need to pay really close attention to know what I'm doing. Not exactly a good idea to stream or to chill out with you guys. But it was a good experience anyway, it's a good game. Really good game. I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. Once I'm done with uh, Valkyria Chronicles 4, I might give this game a chance. It's pretty good. It'll be a good change of pace. Let's just save the game and get the hell out of here. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for joining, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. Next live stream will be probably next Saturday, in two days. I think I have one more request to go, and then I think I'm gonna play a full game. A full short game. I have two candidates. Two contenders. Might have to choose between one of them. You'll get my decision next week, of course. Thank you guys, and thank you Ram for your donations, and for requesting this game, it was awesome. Don't forget, you guys can become also my patrons and request games, two per month. And I'll stream them if I can, of course. I need to have some sort of access to those games. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't miss out tomorrow's video. It's gonna be pretty interesting. That's it. See you next time.